Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, it doesn't matter how broken you are, it doesn't matter how bad you think you are, or how far you feel you have gone away from me. You haven't lost your value in my eyes. I love you the way you are, but I love you even more that I will refine and sanctify you. You have recently stopped and wondered all the things that I have done for you. Looking back, you can see my hand that was upon you from the very beginning. Did you ever wonder that maybe I healed you before you even knew that you were sick? that I saved you from a fatal car accident that never happened because you didn't see it materialize? Have you forgotten nothing is impossible for me? Yes, I have protected you many more times than you are even aware. But just because you don't see the calamity happening around you doesn't mean that I have not been working behind the scenes. The times that I have rescued you are more than you can count. When you were even unaware of the danger, I am always watching over you and I am there for you when you don't even realize it. When you are tired, when you feel depressed, when you feel hurt, when you feel sad and alone, I am there with open arms ready to hold you, to walk alongside you, to know that you are not alone anymore. I will give you rest. I will strengthen you. I will answer you. I will believe you. I will bless you. I am for you. I will not fail you. I will provide for you. I will be with you. I love you. I have a perfect plan for your life, my child. You sought me for direction, but at times you are not trusting my answer. Your thoughts are not always reflecting my thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. For as far as the heavens are high than the earth, so are my thoughts to your thoughts. When you follow my word in guidance from my spirit, you will live a life of blessing and favor and of abundance because my thoughts of you are all in goodness and not of evil. I am the Lord your God, the Alpha and the Omega. Nothing is impossible for me. I am the rock, the fortress and deliverer. Come and take refuge in me for I am a shield, a horn of salvation, a stronghold to those who run to me. I shall be a hiding place and shall protect you from trouble when you seek refuge in me, and I shall surround you with songs of deliverance. Therefore, call on me in the day of your trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me all the days of your life. When you call on me, I will answer you, and you will be with you in times of trouble, and will deliver you and honor you. That's right, when you shall lift up your eyes to my holy mountain to seek my help. Yes, I will help you who made the heavens and the earth. I will not let your foot slip for I am watching over you for I am the one who watches over Israel and who does neither slumber nor sleep. I shall indeed watch over you as shade at your right hand so the sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. I will also keep you from all harm and watch over your life even as I watch over your coming and your going both now and forever. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness nor the plague that destroys at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall 
shall not come near you, but you only will observe with your eyes and see the punishment and the reward of the wicked for who have made me your refuge. Behold, the lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek me shall not lack no good thing. With me you will face and take on any new week or any new problem. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. No one, no habit, no thorn, no headache, no mountain, no bump in the road, no detour, no closed door, no one iota of the universe is beyond my touch. I will give you courage that will carry, yes, give you strength that steadies no matter what you've been avoiding out of fear. Determined to take one position step. That's right. Take one positive step today. My perfect love in me casts out all fear. So don't allow it to hold you back. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand for I did not give you a spirit of fear but of love, power and of a sound mind. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things for which you did not know. Shalom. He's the Lord precious saints. God made a way where there seems no way and he will make a way within your life. Imagine God made a way out of danger. He parted the Red Seas for Moses. He, Jesus, even calmed the seas with his disciples in the boat. He makes a way for us to have peace in the midst of the storms. God made a way out of jail. He made a way for Joseph, who was falsely accused. He made a way for Paul and Silas, because you see that when they praise God, that God sent an earthquake. He made a way for Peter by sending an angel to open up the prison doors. Jesus can set you free from the bondage of even your prisons. God made a way out of death, even for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Bendigo. He was the fourth person in the fire making a way. He made a way for Daniel even in the lion's den. He escaped death by sending an angel to close the mouth of the lions. Jesus made a way out of death for you and for me. He made a way for Lazarus who he called Lazarus to come forth. And as the Lazarus came forth, even though there were certain bandages still around him, he said, be loosened and anything that is still holding you back, may it be loosened today also. Hallelujah. Jesus made a way out of a hopeless situation. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 1, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. God will make a quickening. Noah and his family, the ark is a type of salvation, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord and we were lost and undone and we were doomed and Jesus is still making a way for us for he is the way maker, making a way for those that their situation seems impossible. No matter what your situation is that you are passing through this day, let me tell you, my brother, my sister, God is making a way for you. He wants you to keep your eyes above, keep your eyes on him and not on that situation, not on that circumstance, but you can have a smile today if you will keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask you, Lord, to set 
our guard over our lips today and search our hearts. Try us and know our thoughts. See if there is any evil way in us and lead us in the way of everlasting. If there is anything in our life that displeases you, Father, remove it in Jesus' mighty name. Circumcise our hearts and cause our desires and our words to line up with yours in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we ask today, Lord, we ask that reap what you sow, for they sow the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. We pray in the name of Jesus, according to Hosea 8 verse 7, what occupies our mind determines what eventually fills our mouth. Your outer world showcases all that has dominated and at times even subjected and overcome. We pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, make us more aware of the power of our words today. We declare that our season of frustration is over. Lord, as we guard our tongues, Lord, our life is changing for the best. In the name of Jesus, we declare that everything this season should bring to us must come forth. Every invisible barrier must be destroyed because you are making a way where there seems no way. We declare, Lord, today that we are prophetic people. Lord, we are and we are taking new territory spiritually, emotionally, relationally and professionally. And we declare that you are opening up doors for us, that you are making a way where there seems no way. Heavenly Father, release your anointing, that breaker anointing that breaks in, that breaks through, that breaks out. Lord, I pray that every barrier will be removed in the name of Jesus. We put our trust in you, knowing, Lord, that you are going to make a way for us this day. We give you all the praise and we know that we can continue to hope and trust in you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray and believe. Amen. And I also want to give a few words to some people today. The Lord is saying there is someone that has an issue with insomnia meaning that you're not able to sleep. There is an issue with your sleep. I just want you to declare today as you place your hands upon your head, Heavenly Father, I declare today that person with the issue of insomnia, that that will leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That insomnia will leave them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is an issue with someone with a bladder infection. There is an issue with your bladder. I declare today as you place your hand upon your stomach. Lord, I declare that that bladder infection be healed today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare it right now. I declare it right now. I declare it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare someone with an issue in their kidneys. I want you to place your hand upon your kidneys. I declare divine healing to that person with the issue with the kidneys right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare today any sciatic pain in their back or any issue in their legs in their hips or in their neck area right now i declare healing right now to any sciatic nerve issues or any pain or joint issues in that area right now be healed today in the name of jesus christ any broken bones right now if you have a broken bone or a sprained joint i want you to place your hand upon that area and i speak divine healing and restoration lord that you will bring that joint back into the perfect design of god lord i speak a creative miracle over that area of that person right now in the name of jesus christ lord i pray also for any cardiovascular issues and any fibromyalgia right now in the name of Jesus I call them out now and I command those things to leave that person right now in the name of Jesus be healed today be healed today be healed today and if there is an issue I see someone that there is an issue with marriage delay 
seems to be an issue that's going on. In actual fact, is there is a spirit of rejection, a spirit of rejection, a spirit of setback that has been stopping you from progressing. I declare today that you shall be married in the coming months to come and in the year to come get ready for god to send you that godly spouse please don't choose anything other than god's best for you don't just take the first thing that comes along but allow god to confirm allow god to bring you the genuine and not the counterfeit in the name of jesus Christ. lord i also come against a spirit of poverty there is a spirit of poverty and also of bad luck it's as though things that never seem to work out poverty and bad luck i command those spirits to come out of that person be broken over the generational line of that person right now in the name of jesus christ i also come against that spirit of fruitless fruitless labor it's as though like and delays delays and fruitless labor it's not enabling you to move forward and also a spirit of laziness a spirit of laziness that seems to come over you stopping you from progressing i command those spirits of delay of setback of fruitless labor and and laziness to leave your lives right now in the name of jesus christ i declare that every generational curse be broken every power of witchcraft be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against any monitoring spirits that are coming against you. Be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every monitoring spirit be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every monitoring spirit be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. And anybody that has any issues with hay fever, I want you right now, Lord, as you place your hand right now, just upon your nose right now i declare hay fever be healed in the name of jesus christ hay fever be healed in the name of jesus christ i also come against anybody there is someone that has uh their leg which is shorter than the other or there is an issue there and god wants to heal you i want i just want you to if you can right now to just sit down and I want you to get another chair or on your bed and I want you to sit down, lay down, but with your, with your, you know, your, your sitting upright. And I want you to place your hands uh, upon your legs. And as you do, that short leg will start to grow right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There might be an issue. There might have been an issue with your hips. There might have been an issue, but for whatever reason that God wants to uh, extend that leg, extend that limb right now. You will see it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone, when you place your hand straight out, you see that one uh, one arm is shorter than the other. I just want you to place them straight right out right now. And as you stretch them out right now, God is going to bring that creative miracle. And that limb, that hand, that arm is going to grow right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak it right now. It will grow right now. It will grow right now. It will grow right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's also someone with panic attacks you're having panic attacks it's like there's anxiety attacks let me tell you that's the devil the doctor can give you all the medication in the world but when you learn to understand that anxiety leads to depression the word of god says and the bible says be anxious for nothing i declare that anxiety that panic attack that spirit of fear that spirit of depression to leave you right now in the name of jesus christ i speak healing and wholeness if you are on medication i i i you will start to see that you will have to start to slowly come off that medication uh, as you start to see as your body starts to show you even your doctor will confirm and agree so allow that process of coming off the medications of those things with regards to anxiety panic attacks and allow the word of god to minister to you daily as god does his thing i come against vertigo also vertigo the dizziness that comes into you i speak to vertigo in your life right now be healed in the name of jesus christ i speak to every spirit of infirmity come out of the people right now come out of them come out of them come out of them in the name of jesus christ lord today i silence i silence every tongue 
of the enemy speaking against their success today in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every backbiting spirit. I come against every gossiping spirit. I come against everybody that is coming and defaming their names right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you will silence the tongue of every enemy speaking against their success today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. But Lord, I pray that breakthrough shall come. Breakthrough shall come all round breakthrough shall come that they may prosper in every way in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare good things upon your people today. I declare that not only are you a way maker, but you are making a way today. Lord, that you believe in them You believed in them enough to come and die for them. So bless them today. Bless them today. Bless them today. Bless them today and touch and fill your people. You will locate them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare today, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that no devil shall come against your people today. Take your hands up, devil. These are God's chosen people people. They're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. They are blessed. They are apple of God's eye and God is going to use them for his glory in Jesus mighty name. We pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, Shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can hit the notification button and also the bell to make sure you're receiving uh, the notifications. You can also share uh, things on Facebook or social media. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. God is moving people. Today is the day of fasting. Friday, corporate Friday fasting, where we start in the evening of Thursday all the way to the evening of the Thursday. You can dry fast, you can water fast, you can do whatever it takes. You may be on medication, you may want to do it with uh, a Daniel fast set up, whatever it is, just participate at whatever level. Start to make uh, fasting part of your lifestyle and get ready for greater things to come. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.